Hey gamers, it's Kristen and I have another video for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I have some lifestyle favorites. I don't have a lot of them, but I thought I would do a video like this from time to time. We'll call this March um, lifestyle faves. I don't know that I'll have them every month, but I do have some this month. Some that have been, um, a couple that have been around for quite a few months that I've just obviously, because I wasn't doing them, never have talked about them, and some are fairly new. So. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump into it. I have a couple of cleaning things that I want to share with you. Um, we're going to start with the Dawn Platinum Power Wash. So you can see how much I have left of this. Um, I don't like this just for, I mean, I, that was a misplaced modifier. I like this not only for, let's try that, not only for cleaning dishes and that sort of thing, but I am telling you this is genius for cleaning your stove. So I have a gas, but I, I can't believe that it wouldn't work just as well on a flat top, if not better, actually. Um, but what I do is I just um, take off all of the things, the, the grill and all of the things, till I just have, and I just spray this all over, and then I just kind of work it around a little bit, and then let it sit for maybe five, ten minutes, and then I come back and wash it off. When I did it the first time, I have never seen my stove look as shiny as it since the day it came home after I did this is what I'm trying to say I'm, words are hard but I my point being it, it looked as good as it has looked since the day it walked in my house after I cleaned it using this how about that so um, I think there are other versions of this like maybe different scents or that sort of thing I don't know but the one that I have is the fresh scent and it is delightful so it also makes your kitchen smell nice when you're done Okay, that is the first thing. The second thing is, and if anybody on Instagram watches Go Clean Co., if you don't, you totally should. I feel like I've mentioned them even before I stopped, you know, making videos for a while, but um, Powder Tide, y'all. This is just a little thing of Powder Tide that I have in an old um, mayonnaise or something container, glass container. And because you can only buy this by the box and, and I don't use it in my laundry at all. Well, that's not true. I don't use it to, as my general washing detergent but I um, get this from or I, I bought the box at Walmart and then I just put a little in a container and I have it in my like cleaning caddy and I've given some to my mom and some to friends because you would not believe and, and it's not I didn't come up with it on my own I learned it from Go Clean Co. You would not believe how many things you can clean with Tide and in different ways so the recipe that they use is like four-ish cups of hot water to a teaspoon of this. Don't go crazy, y'all, or you're going to have, like when I, the very first time I used this, I was cleaning the, um, our RV and I didn't, I didn't know or I didn't pay attention. I don't really know. And I have no idea how much I put in there. But as I'm wiping it down, instead of it, you know, cleaning, I can just see that I'm leaving extra like detergent behind and then I had to wipe. Anyway, um, so one teaspoon to about four cups of water, something like that. You can use this to mop your floors with really hot water. Um, I use the O-Cedar mop, which I love. Uh, I can't remember if I learned about this from them, if I learned about that mop from them or what, but anyway. Um, so you can do it like that. I also will take this, if I have a stain or Bob has a stain on a sweatshirt, particularly a grease stain, that maybe went unnoticed or even if I didn't notice but if it went unnoticed and got washed and then dried you know that's like usually the kiss of death if I I will take a little bit of this and then a little bit of shout and they kind of create a paste and I use an old toothbrush to work it in it comes out almost every time and if it doesn't come completely out it lightens it up significantly but for the most part it just it will just make stains disappear so um, the other the other thing that I've used with laundry just while we're talking about this is a combination of shout and just dawn dish like dawn soap like that you'd use to wash your dishes not the platinum though I'm sure this would work speaking of let me come back to this for just a second um, at Christmas time I don't remember what it was. It must have been the black cherry jello um, from Verona salad. I can't remember, but one of my nieces or nephews um, dropped some on my carpet, and I wasn't around. I, I just kind of get crazy when everybody's there for the holidays, and um, I get a little on edge. <laughs> And so after the fact, my brother-in-law, Kevin, came up and said, uh, just so you know, not only does this work, 
um, you know, the way you were talking, telling me that it worked. He's like, but it works really well and stains on the carpet. So there's also that. I use that, I think it's called Folex is what I use normally for stains on the carpet, but in a pinch, apparently this also can work. Okay, those are the cleaning things. Here is a uh, random apparel thing. So I talked on Instagram about no-show socks and bought quite a few different kinds. And I actually think I might do a video dedicated to the socks and what I thought worked for what and what didn't work for what and that sort of thing. But I do want to share with you the overall winner of the socks. And that is the Ando. I have some white and some black here. The Ando no-show socks. Um, these are the only socks. They have this little grippy thing in the back. The only no-show socks, and I have tried Bombas, Invisa Sock, Converse, Puma, um, no names. Like I've, I, I've, I feel like I've tried them all. And some of them work for some shoes. Some of them work for other shoes. Some of them didn't work at all. But these ones work for every pair of shoes so far that I have put them on and into. They come up, let me just show you so you can see it better, like that far in your foot. So I, you couldn't wear it with, you know, like a flat. Uh, but your most of most loafers and uh, tennis shoes, the, my biggest issue with no-show socks is that they would work maybe in my slip-on, like my Steve Madden slip-ons, but um, they wouldn't work in like a pair of tennis shoes. Like I have this pair of Cole Haan tennis shoes that are a nice kind of a dressier tennis shoe, and I love them, but every pair of socks I put on in them would slip underneath even the bombas ones that i love now the the bombas kind of no show the bombas ankle ones would totally have stayed up the ones i use like to walk in or whatever but they would not have worked but but they you could see them i want a true no show anyway the point being these are worth the money they are they are not cheap i got a set that had two black and two white and i think it was forty dollars so i think they are ten dollars a pair basically but totally worth it. I have washed them, dried them just like normal. Um, and like I said, I've been wearing them for weeks now and am very, very, very pleased. So I, Ondo, O-N-D-O is the brand. I will list it, of course, below. Uh, okay. Next up. This is a travel purse. So I am 99.9% .9 sure that I saw this. Um, I saw Nur talking about this from Nur XO. And I think she maybe had the black one. I ordered this one in navy blue because it kind of matches my travel stuff. So generally, I don't use a crossbody like day to day. But when I travel, I like to be able to, you know, grab a purse to go to dinner instead. For a while there, I was, I am going to do a travel sort of series of videos. But for a while there, I was just throwing my wallet in my carry-on sort of bag, like my shoulder bag that I take back and forth to the office. And that works, but if you go out for dinner, then I was just grabbing my wallet. So I have this here to show you guys that this is a great size. Hopefully you can see. I got this on Amazon, by the way, for $20, $20. Um, I have a long wallet and this, like your long standard size wallet, and it fits in here without any problem. There's enough room for my EpiPen, uh, my inhaler. I can stick my phone, both phones actually. I have a work phone and my personal phone. Both phones fit down in there. And then in this outside corner right now, I just have, oh, key for my car. I would have been looking for that at some point. Um, it has a shoulder strap that I just take off when I put it in my bag for travel so it's not like getting all over the place. Um, really, really long. I'm a bigger girl. I have a bigger chest and this fits and sits at a nice spot, um, on my side. And here, actually, let me just, I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to put it on and then we'll stand up and show you. Okay. So you guys can see, <laughs> yes, I'm wearing just plain joggers with a nice sweater. You guys can see where it, where it sits there. Um, and then the, this band is adjustable. So if I, you wanted to have it shorter or you're not as large as me or whatever the case may be, you can very easily switch it up like that. Okay, so Amazon. 
at $20. Just perfect, in my opinion, for a travel bag if you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. I certainly have looked at some, you know, nicer designer crossbody bags, but this one just works really well for me, and so I'm going to stick with it for now. And it matches my luggage, which is all navy blue. All right, lastly, I have it set over here. Let me just take my list. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything on my list. Nope. Lastly is this. This is so random. I did, I have shown this on Instagram, so you might have seen this before. See this? This is a Brookstone heated foot warmer. Seems redundant, but it literally is called heated plush foot warmer. On the inside, it has like this Sherpa situation, and then there's this little um, button there that you can do low, medium, or high. Um, Bob bought this for me for my birthday, and I was like, oh, thanks. And I was like, I wonder how much use I'll get out of that. Uh, well, I keep this in my office, and I use it all the time, every day when I am home. It is genius. I love it. Um, so yeah, I just turn it on. I can turn it on with my toe, obviously, or like with my foot because it's right down there. And I slide my little feet in there and they stay nice and cozy warm. It is so genius. I absolutely love it. So there you go. Sorry. They're building a house next door, um, in the lot that once was empty. And does it, today's a Saturday, but there's, there's always something going on over there. And it's very loud. So that is what I have for you guys today. On my face, for those of you that are curious, I'm still wearing the It Cosmetics uh, CC Cream, MAC MSF and Natural. Um, today on my, I didn't have it pulled out, I apologize. On my cheeks, I am wearing um, Red Aspen Blush in Peachy Bloom, which is just a beautiful blush. And then for highlight, I am also wearing a Red Aspen product. This is the Rose Gold um, Highlighter. On my eyes, I am wearing the Sydney Grace Coffee Talk palette, and I have, why, why do I have to wear the, the one that I can't pronounce? This is some sort of coffee espresso situation, Ristretto, and then I have a little Frappe in my crease, this to deepen things up, which is Java, and then I put a little bit of this crema on my inner corner. Oh, and I used Macchiato on my lower lash line. All right, I had to pull it out. I have the Jaclyn Hill Lip Liner in Blondie all over my lips and filled in. And then I used the lipstick, in, her liquid lipstick in Truth over the top of that. So I think that is everything. Um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, I'll try to link everything below for you. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to do a makeup favorites maybe skincare or something like that, but I thought that it would be fun to kind of branch away from the makeup for a little bit and do um, a lifestyle favorites video today. So that's what I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day and everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.